what's up guys how are you guys doing today so today i'm going to show you how to install your own cache server for your steam game li games library as well as for windows updates and as well as other things so a LAN cache is useful for downloading a game or a windows update to other applications uh, once in your home network or a office network and uh, others when they download the same thing it won't be re-downloaded using your internet uh, data so in order to for us to do that first we need to install an application or a docker installation called uh, LAN cache bundle so to do that we are going to go to the community tabs app on uh, android and we are going to search for an option called LAN cache so click on the icon and you will get this uh, application and click install so before installing this one we need to create a share uh, which is named as LAN cache the reason is this is the location where all the uh, cache files will be saved so i'm going to copy the name and i'm going to open a new tab in shares and i'm going to create a share which is named as LAN cache and here if you have a dedicated uh, cache drive in your android server you can select that one if that is a high capacity if not uh, select one of the hard drives or um, anything else within your server so in my case i'm going to select uh, manual sp directory splitting and i'm going to include only one disk out of my four disk in my android server and i'm going to exclude the other disks after doing so I'm going to add the share so as you can see the share is created and uh, for now uh, I'm going to leave it as public so that we can view whether the cache files are created or not and afterwards click done now go back to the uh, installation page of LAN cache bundle and now what we need to do is we need to set some settings so within here you need to change the IP address to your local networks IP range so in my case my IP range is running in 192.168.0 so due to that reason I'm going to change this to 192.168.0 dot something which is uh, in within my range so in my case I'm going to add 245 afterwards change these IP addresses also into that 192.168.0.245 and as well as this afterwards uh, check whether all the others are okay so these are the default places all the log files and other things will be saved so leave it as it is and here cache mem size so this is the place where all the downloading cache will be um, temporarily saved until it is saved to the uh, drive so you can give the memory as uh, how, however you want so it depends on the size in, within your server in my case i have 16 gb but for now i'm going, just going to give it uh, 1024 that means 1 gb uh, and i'm going to leave it as it is and uh, for the disk size i'm going to give it as 10,000 for my current experiment so in your uh, case you should give at least 1 tb because the games uh, normally that are coming recently uh, around 100 gbs so in my ex ex example i'm going to show something which is a low usage so due to that reason i'm going to give it 10,000 so afterwards uh, i'm going to give the cache max h so this is the period the cache uh, is saved on your server so by default it is set to 150 days you can change however you want i'm just going to leave it as it is and uh, afterwards uh, let's change this to not 10,000 g let's change this to uh, let's say yeah let's keep it as 1000 g or let's keep it as 200 for my current experiment and click apply or oh, before that uh, verify the port numbers as well so these are the port numbers which are used by default by the server and uh, don't change this uh, but here if you want you can uh, disable the caching options for these services so if you need all of them you can leave it as it is 
if not uh, uh, type true to disable them so i'm going to leave it as it is so as you can see here there are some uh, options uh, you can disable or enable so epic games by default blizzard epic games and origin and steam those are the mostly used things and you play so i'm going to leave it as it is as well as wsus which is for the windows updates i'm going to leave them as it is, as it is and then click apply so after the installation is done let's see whether the land cash bundle service is working or not okay as you can see the installation is done so click on the done icon and uh, if you go back to the docker step you can see the land cache bundle is installed but you don't have anything else to configure within this but what you need to consider is the ip you gave for the land cache bundle so the ip that i gave is 192.168.0.245 so this will be my dns ip in my uh, steam server or the place where i download all my steam games so i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to my network card which is a uh, open file location properties and within ip version 4 here we need to give the dns ip address so my ip address is 192.168.0.245 and for the alternate you can give your router's dns or else you can leave it as it is and if you are doing a, a lan party uh, you can set this ip address on your router's dns option so by doing so all the members in the lan party when they download the games it will be recorded on the cache server so if you are just doing it for yourself and for some small pieces within your home you can just manually set them to each and individual pc so in my case i'm just using it on my pc so i'm going to set it on my preferred dns and press ok afterwards uh, what we need to do is we need to verify the cache folder is created or not so i'm going to open run and i'm typing to my server's ip address and as you can see there's a folder name as land cache within that there is a cache folder so currently there aren't anything recorded here which means the cache server hasn't just uh, yet downloaded any files because i didn't download any games yet so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to download a game and let's see whether the cache file is uh, files are created within the uh, land cache folder or not so for that i'm going to go to steam and I'm going to download Call of Duty. I know this is all game, but in my case, I'm just going to do the experiment. So click install. And as you can see, the disk space required is 1.6, uh, sorry, 1.1 GB. So I'm going to download this one. So in locally, it is going to my D drive, but while I'm downloading this one, it will be recorded to the cache drive. So as you can see, uh, the server is being currently downloaded. So if I open, the land cache share folder there are the cache folders which are created by the download so currently uh, the installation will be given to me from the server itself uh, but it's not working so the reason for that is we need to clear the dns so by default all the dns's are recorded on your uh, pc so we need to flush them so to do that i'm going to open cmd and i'm going to type ipconfig flush dns if you didn't do that before this is what will happen the games won't be downloaded so i'm going to flush it so give it a couple more flushes and try to download it again Now as you can see, the game has been downloaded. So it might take some time for the game to download. So after the installation, we'll come back and see uh, whether we can download, re-download this game without using our internet connection.
now here as you can see my internet connection is now uh, pulled fully and um, as my as i have a 100 mb connection at my home so it's fully been utilized so what should happen is if the cache is working properly when i delete this game and reinstall it again this should exceed uh, over 10 megabytes per second so as the installation is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this game i'm going to click on install and reinstall it again what should happen is we should go above 10 megabytes if so we, uh, that means the cache server is being utilized for the download of the call of duty so i'm going to click install again and locally it will go to the steam library click next as you can see here now the installation is being pulled about 10 megabytes per second and that means the steam cache is being used from the server to verify that we can go to the android servers interface and uh, if you see the read option here and if it is being utilized that means uh, as you remember i used disk one as my steam cache location and as you can see here it's been uh, read from that one and we get uh, mega 12 megabytes per second uh, downloading speeds so thank you guys for watching and uh, i hope this is very helpful in your scenario this uh, speed might be much more higher in my case there are some uh, difficulties in downloading this at much higher speed uh, as you can see it's like equal to uh, my internet speed but in your scenario it might have a higher uh, performance level and if you use a, a ssd instead of a hard drive to store the game files and all the other cache files it, it will have a higher performance in your network so i hope this is very helpful to you and uh, thank you guys for watching uh, my video and uh, like subscribe my channel and see you guys on next time